Okay, so I'm in camp at the Texas Renaissance Festival. Sportsmobile set up. The Julka shower is set up. Uh, my little kitchen is set up. I'm ready to go. I'm also in a great deal of pain. I did something to my back. Hoping to uh, rest it off and uh, get going again tomorrow. It's uh, dinner time. I wasn't planning on making anything in camp tonight. I was thinking I would be here later than dinner and I was going to stop and get something on the road. I need to figure something out. It's going to have to be something quick. Um, I've got those Nor pasta side dishes. I'll probably do one of those. Just woke up, uh, I slept in, tossed and turned a lot last night. Um, this bed isn't any less comfortable than my bed at home, it's not any more comfortable, and uh, I gave my back too much of a workout yesterday, so. Well, it's time to get up, start a campfire. It's chilly, it's in the 50s, and uh, I need to get some coffee on. The fire pit is an Ozark Trail 15 inch. We got our firewood stacked in there. Now let's get our fire starter prepped. A little bag of natural fat wood. We're going to fuzz one end of it and we'll light it off. And when I say fuzzing, I mean we're just going to curl some of the ends so it lights easier. That was pretty much instantaneous, so. We're going to take it over to the fire pit now, drop it in. In a few minutes, we should have a nice crackling fire. Coffee is going to be pour over coffee through that GSI ultralight Java drip. So. <clears throat> you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, it looks like, yeah, that oatmeal is way too hot right now. I'm going to let that cool for just a minute. The coffee came out perfect. And, uh, well, there's a reason I'm staying on pop-up portal. Because this thing pops up. Okay, I'm going to have to edit this a little bit, but this is my uh, Texas Renfest campground. That's my van. The tent is a Julka. It's a portable shower enclosure. Um, it's got two sides. The side that's got the open windows where the shower is. The other side you can put a toilet in, but I uh, have the toilet inside the van. There's the toilet pulled out. Well, there's no real good way to get an angle on this, so that's the driver's seat. That is the refrigerator. The cabinet below there is the toilet cabinet, and I have the toilet pulled out. I've got a skillet and a uh, utility knife on top of the fridge. I mounted those hangers to hold spices. That didn't work. They first time I hit the brakes, the spices came flying out at me. Bad idea. It has a microwave. Microwave is not currently hooked up. I have some work to do there. That's the pantry where all the dry goods are kept. The drawers are where I keep my um, spatulas and spoons and forks and knives and bowls and cups and all that. There's two drawers there. Um, that's part of the air conditioner. That cabinet right there is the closet. That's the other part of the air conditioner. <clears throat> the bed that I have yet 
to make. I just got out of bed, so sorry. I apologize there. And then the kitchen cabinet. Um, I believe I've mentioned the sink has been removed. The plumbing's been removed. I have big water jugs that I'm using right now. There's another drawer. Well, it's not even a drawer. It's a door underneath the cabinet <laughs> that has uh, pots and pans and uh, collapsible sinks, which I'm not using this trip. Front of that cabinet, you can see I need to do some repair work there. <clears throat> but uh, this part, this flips up, it's just a door, and it keeps uh, my medical stuff in there. Um, this is just extra hoses and things like that for the water system. The water system, that white box there, is a Julka hot tap on-demand water heater. It's supposed to give me a nice hot shower. I can use either a garden hose pressure or that pump. Well, there is no garden hose near me, and the pump failed, so I don't get a shower this weekend. Sorry. Kitchen is basic but effective. Coleman pack away uh, camp kitchen. Little two burner Coleman stove. And a uh, tub that I have some water in for rinsing dishes. Okay, some new realizations. I messed up. The door window, the sliding door window pops out, and the back door windows pop out for ventilation. No screens. Uh, the Renfest campground is just swarming with flies. It's the second or third to last weekend of the season, so not much of a surprise. Um, however, I was planning on driving the flies and that sort of stuff away with my uh, thermosel. The camp store does not have isobutane, and I forgot to bring my isobutane. Oops. So, okay, note to self, that's one of the things I forgot to bring. It's been a couple of days since I uh, got back from RenFest. I just didn't film as much as I should have. But uh, there are a couple of things that were lessons learned from this trip. This was my first trip with this van. A couple of lessons learned, things that I'm fixed. Um, the bed was terribly uncomfortable. I got and put down a memory foam mattress topper. Um, and I've actually gone out and taken a nap on top of that memory foam mattress topper on that bed. And it's wonderful. Um, <clears throat> highly recommend if you've got one of these sports mobiles or a similar camper. Um, this is a full size bed. It's not a queen. Um, it's not a king. It's a full. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you've got you know, this particular layout, the RB11 Sportsmobile, get a memory foam mattress topper. Your back will definitely uh, appreciate it. Um, I got a set of full sheets because I originally thought it might have been a queen. I drug some uh, queen sheets from home with me. That was a mistake. Um, I had problems with the pillows. Um, Sportsmobile includes throw pillows. I forgot to throw in my normal pillows. Um, I use backpackers pillows in the camper because they keep my head closer to the wall of the van. So my feet have more room on the other end. So I'm not all squinched up and having my back twisted in the, in the process. Um, <clears throat> so I've uh, thrown the backpackers pillows on the bed. The bed's basically made. It's, um, all I've got to do is throw the uh, sleeping bag out and it's ready to sleep in. Um, the failed water pump, uh, I called that in under warranty to Julka. They're sending one out, but they're back ordered. Um, I have a three gallon per minute Seaflow water pump that I'm going to integrate into the van, but I don't want to do it yet. So what I'm going to do for now, until the Julka pump comes in, I'm going to get a, one of the male plug-ins for a 12-volt cord, and I'm going to provide 12-volt power 
to my C flow using uh, the uh, 12 volt power that way. And uh, then when we're ready to install it into the van, I'll just clip that end out and, and graft it into the uh, proper wiring. Um, but for now, this will keep me going. So that's it. Um, that's the quick and and dirty run through as it were. Um, there was more to the camp that I didn't show that I should have. Um, the solar panel set up, I was able, even with seriously overcast skies, my batteries were never below 90%. Um, and that was overnight in the morning when I first got up, when the sun first came out. After the sun had been out for a while, it, they topped off within an hour or two. So <clears throat> that's it. That's uh, all I've got for this time. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do some more travel shortly that's not going to be on video, but it's going to be for video purposes, if that makes sense. Um, I'm doing some research and uh, we'll be hopefully um, doing a... a doing a camp and cook here, uh, pretty soon, you know, probably sometime second week in December, probably. So we'll see. Anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching my video.